So occasionally on your ski holiday, you're gonna run into some less than ideal conditions. It's gonna be high winds, snowing, and low visibility. So here are my top tips for skiing when the conditions are bad. When the visibility's poor, your goggle choice makes a huge difference. So you wanna get rid of any mirrored lenses like this because they block out too much light and use something more like this, which is a light tinted clear lens so that you can see as much of the slope as possible. When you're skiing in high winds, it's important to make yourself as aerodynamic as possible so you don't get blown over. Here's a couple of easy and not so easy ways to do this. The tuck position. Bend at the knees and hips and put your hands in front of you to make yourself as aerodynamic as possible. The lazy tucker. Bend at your hips with your hands and poles out behind you. This is easier but less effective than the traditional tuck. The lunge or lunge. Not particularly stable and not particularly effective. The forward dive. Although the most impressive, it's also the most difficult to stay in and the least aerodynamic of all these positions. Finally, the worm. We can only recommend this position to people serious about speed. As you can see, the light now is pretty flat. It's really hard to see any definition on the ground. So, when the conditions are like this, Goggles are only going to make so much difference. What you can do though is slow down your skiing and practice things so that when the conditions do improve, you're that much better at skiing. So what we're going to do now is go and do some short turns down the side of the slope. When the visibility's poor, you might want to try staying a little bit lower and finding a run like this which has trees either side of it. What this does is it increases the contrast of the snow and it allows you to see much more detail and it stops it being quite a flat light. The trees will also stop it being quite as windy. When the weather gets really bad, you may not be able to hear each other speak, so a rudimentary knowledge of ski sign language is imperative. Start off with easy ones, like Hello there! Stop! Over here! This way! That way! Soon you'll be making up your own more complicated phrases by joining symbols together. Try these! You're skiing? is great. If you ski in that direction, you will die. Hey guys, I could do with stopping in just a mo to use the peace side facilities. Okay gang, follow me, it's almost time for happy hour. My final tip for skiing on bad weather days is to make sure you treat yourself to a nice slopeside hot chocolate.